Well, hello. Today we're going to be talking about the currents created by a magnetic field. We kind of introduced that the other day in class a little bit, um, but let's go ahead and discuss it in further detail. Uh, what you're going to learn. Uh, we're going to be able to describe the magnetic field produced by a current in a straight conductor and in a solenoid. Uh, we want to be able to use the right hand rule to determine the direction of the magnetic field in a current carrying wire. Magnetic field of a current carrying wire. Uh, a long straight current carrying wire has a cylindrical magnetic field. Compasses can be used to sh can be used to show the direction of the magnetic field induced by the wire. The right hand rule uh, can be used to determine the direction of the magnetic field in a current carrying wire. Well, here we have the right hand rule being demonstrated. As you can see, the finger is in the same direction as the current, or not finger, but your thumb. So the current is coming through here. This is the conventional current. Remember, this is the direction that the protons, I know protons aren't what travel, but when they first came up with the right hand rule, it was based upon the direction that the protons would be traveling. So the thumb goes with the conventional current. You wrap your fingers around in the direction. Notice that on the back side of, the, of this, the current is traveling counterclockwise and then here in front right so the fingers are going counterclockwise and so is the current it's going not the current I'm sorry the magnetic field here is going counterclockwise an example of this then is uh, here with a wire now what they've done is they've cut away the protective coating of the wire they've eliminated here on the sides the spots or the, the, the plastic coating on the wire. All that we're left with then is the wire. The current's either going up or it's going down. But what's important here, as you can see, is the compass is not entirely always pointing to the north or to the south. Here, it's not even coming close to the north and south. What it's doing is it's going in the same direction that the magnetic field is, whether it's going uh, Clockwise or counterclockwise is hard to determine at this point because we don't know which way the current's going through the wire, but the magnetic field is evident from the way we, from looking at the compasses. Solenoids, all right. Solenoids produce a strong magnetic field by combining several loops. A solenoid is a long helically wound coil of insulated wire, and every one of these wires now. Uh, has this current running through it and what happens then is you get a lot of current and you have a lot of magnetic field in a very small area when they wind this up and all of this um, magnetic field is traveling in the same direction so if we were to look at this if I take this solenoid and turn it rotate it it would look like this and you'd have these wire that would be wound and around and around and then finally the wire would come out of there, all right, and it might come out uh, like this. Well, if we were to induce a current, let's say we had the current going this way, all the way around, all right, the magnetic field, if you were to take your hand and wrap it around, your fingertips would be coming through the middle of it here. Well, that means the magnetic field would be coming through there, just like your fingertips, and all these little dots here would be magnetic field coming out and on the outside would be magnetic field going down into the page and a lot of times we'll represent these with pluses and points so all these points down here are magnetic field in the direction coming out from the center and on the outside you have this magnetic field strong magnetic field going down into um, your screen right now or going into your screen as you're watching it Here's an example of the metal filings, and what they've done is they've went ahead and put a current through this wire, and these metal filings, as you can see, they are representing the magnetic field. And if you look at it here, you can see that you have these circular paths that are forming through here, all right, that represent that magnetic field. Well, hey, that's it for magnetic field today. Uh, that's everything we wanted to go over. 
um, a short note-taking session here. I want you to remember that right-hand rule for um, induced current in the magnetic field. So we have the right-hand rule that we'll be discussing. And other than that, there's not a whole lot of other notes to talk about. Um, I'll see you on the flip side.